Welcome to the Windows 8 channel and in this Back to the Basics episode we will take a peek at the Windows Defender antivirus that is included in every Windows 8 machine. So most computers that you buy actually come with some lousy 30 day or 60 day trial of McAfee, Norton, or whatever and after that 30 days well everybody is faced with what do I do do I need an antivirus do I need a paid one do you need anything else is there something inside Windows or in my machine already uh, well first of all for a short answer of um, you know first of all there's yes a antivirus inside Windows 8 it's called Windows Defender and it's what was called actually uh, Security Essentials in Windows 7 and um, it became Windows Defender. Now there's one thing that a lot of people get confused is that in Windows 7 there was something called Windows Defender and something called Security Essentials. They were both different. Windows Defender was the malware protection, the basic malware protection. It was already included um, to you know, flush out the worst malware and viruses that Windows can get. And you could install a new antivirus or get Security Essentials, which was a free antivirus and still available for Windows uh, Vista and Windows 7. And that antivirus plus Windows Defender gave a complete protection. Windows Defender and Security Essentials came packaged together in Windows 8 and 8.1. And uh, they called it simply Windows Defender and it includes the Security Essentials and actually has the same interface as Security Essentials. So the first question you want to ask yourself is, okay, is a free antivirus, is security, or is, is Windows Defender actually as good as a paid antivirus? The simple answer to that is no. But that said, it depends on what you do with your computer. If you are just a basic user, you don't really go and download, you know, illegal stuff or go to a million sites download everything you see Windows Defender is probably more than enough for the majority of Windows users I install Windows Defender as a default on my clients computers and I can tell you that for most of them uh, the majority of my clients and a big majority I would say more than 80 to 90 percent of them it's really enough and what's interesting is that the malware that I see people getting seems to get past Norton and McAfee as easily as it does with Windows Defender. So it means that, you know what, I'm sometimes not so sure that a paid antivirus is that great. But technically, yes, a paid antivirus like McAfee, um, or McAfee I don't like, but Norton 360, or Kaspersky Nod32 usually will give more protection than a free one but Windows Defender is not that bad and now we'll check how do you know if it's actually on the first thing you need to do is remove any antivirus that you have already so if you are on a trial of an antivirus and want Windows Defender um, or maybe your antivirus is expiring and you want Windows Defender then the first thing you need to do is right click go into the programs and features list and there you'll go and check for the name of your antivirus software you'll click on it and once you click on it you'll click uninstall and remove all of it it will probably ask you to restart your computer that's the first step the second step is to find Windows Defender the easiest way is on your start screen you have the search on the upper right corner you can also go into the charms bar on the right side of your screen uh, and simply click Defender you just write Defender and you see it's gonna give you Windows Defender you click on that this is what it looks like so for those of you that come from Vista or 7 and have 
used security essentials, you'll see that the interface is exactly the same. But it is called Windows Defender. I don't know why they decided to change the name. Uh, personally, I, sh I, I would have, you know, kept security essentials and made clear that it includes Windows Defender for some reason. But um, they took Windows Defender as a name. So here you make sure that in the update, you are updated. So if it's not, make sure that you click the update button there on the right side of your screen. And by the history, you can see, uh, you know, quarantine items. You can see anything that is um, been detected in real time. So for example, in history, if you click quarantine item and click view details, it's going to show you a list of what it quarantined, which is nothing in my case because it never detected any viruses. If you click the all detected item, all detected items, it's going to actually give you a list of anything that it detected and all the weeks or months that you've been using it. And finally, there's a set, there are settings. So you got the real-time protection needs to be turned on. Um, you can exclude files and locations. This is more for people that you know sometimes download stuff that aren't secure and want to make sure the antivirus doesn't remove it, and so on. So there's a lot of little options. Actually, more options here than there, there is in the uh, Windows Security Essentials that Windows 7 and Windows Vista had. So that's pretty much how it works. And um, if it's green, everything is right. If it's yellow, there's something that it wants to tell you. Usually when it's yellow, it's because it wants you to scan your computer. And if it's red, no worries, it's going to pop up a, a window and it's going to tell you there's something wrong. Usually you're infected with a very bad virus or it's been a long time since the uh, antivirus hasn't been updated. What's missing in Windows Defender? An icon in the taskbar at the bottom right. That is something that's really, really annoying. I wish there would be one because it's easy to see that it's working when it's there in the bottom right of your screen. So um, I wish, I really wish that they would upgrade uh, Windows Defender and have it uh, get its little icon in the bottom right to see it. But if you don't know or if you're not sure if your antivirus is working, uh, simply search for it in the search, type Defender, and click on Windows Defender, and you'll see it. If it's green, everything is okay. So that's the basic protection in Windows 8. It is included on all Windows 8 machines, and um, unfortunately, there's a lot of uh, guys out there that sell computers that will tell you, oh, there's no antivirus, you need to buy one because they want to make money. And it's unfortunate because there's always something in Windows 8 that's included. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to your channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions, maybe you have uh, questions about Windows Defender, uh, let us know. And uh, if you've got any problems, well, we'll try to help you as best as we can and maybe even make a video to help others. And hopefully you will come back. If you have a Windows 8 machine, this is a great channel to learn more on how to use Windows 8 to the max. Thanks for watching.